Espionage. Today we are going to talk about Espionage and uh, spy novels. Espionage is uh, the art of spying and uh, it is uh, about uh, collecting information from the holder of the information without the knowledge of the holder and without the permission of the holder of that information. Highest attention has been paid to espionage uh, during World War II and World War I as well as in uh, during the post uh, World War era that is the Cold War era from 1947 to 1989. This period during the Cold War uh, era has been a favorite for the uh, novelists as well as the filmmakers and we can see a lot of novels of different kinds uh, both fantastical as well as uh, real and grounded uh, um, uh, in both the areas of movies European movies or uh, Hollywood movies all of these kinds uh, but efforts to use uh, Espionage uh, for military advantage has been um, a long, long uh, documented process. It's actually a long documented process in history. For example, uh, Sun Tzu in ancient China uh, is uh, still has an audience uh, in this world for his book uh, The Art of War. He has uh, influenced Asian military thinking uh, for a long time. Uh, whereas in India, we find uh, Chanakya or Kautilya who wrote Arthasastra in 4th century BC. It was a, it was a textbook, Arthasastra was a textbook uh, of uh, statecraft and political economy. It provides a detailed account of intelligence collection, uh, processing, uh, consumption and covert operations even uh, as an indispensable means. Uh, for maintaining the security and power of uh, the state as a whole. Uh, but uh, the use of espionage dates well back into even more ancient history. For example, the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible uh, documents the story of Rahab, a prostitute who harbored two Hebrews, uh, Hebrew spies, in fact. And this story can be found in the book of Joshua. Uh, since the uh, advent of industrial revolution and especially from 18th century onwards, espionage uh, has gained even more importance. Uh, industrialization, coloni uh, colonialism and uh, complicated world politics has uh, fueled the quest of information and raised the cost of information. Uh, informants during the French Revolution uh, have been used aplenty to track down uh, uh, traitors for trials and executions. Uh, colonial governments have used espionage to quell uprisings. And the art of espionage uh, has been transformed as uh, technology and all kinds of uh, uh, information systems have grown. Uh, inventions like camera uh, and telegraph in the, even telegraph uh, in the, um, pre-1950s uh, have been uh, instrumental for uh, cryptography, uh, gadgetry and today internet has completely changed the game. So uh, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, six books in fact, uh, it's a bonanza today and we are going to talk about uh, very briefly about six books that you can read uh, to get the taste of uh, Spanish novels in different uh, periods uh, of uh, our history. Uh, now, we, I'm going to start with uh, mainly the World Wars, uh, since World War I was responsible for a marked change in the development and uh, scope of many countries' Spanish programs. World War II Spanish activities uh, have been characterized mainly by the use of cryptography, and uh, daring, daring uh, uh, kind of uh, treachery even and clandestine operations, transmission of uh, information as well as misinformation, uh, which has uh, given rise to new enemies and uh, made uh, 
friends out of old enemies. So, for example, uh, uh, in World War II, uh, the one of the most well-known codes was the German uh, Enigma machine. The machine was uh, first marketed commercially in 1923, but uh, adopted and refined by the German military, and it, they extensively used it during World War II for their U-boat campaigns. Uh, the British, on the other hand, with the help of the Polish um, uh, army and the Polish uh, po Polish uh, military and their Spanish team, um, they cracked this uh, impenetrable Enigma code and used it to defeat uh, the German attacks. Um, the Cold War in kind of intensified the activity between uh, the world powers. It got divided into two uh, main camps, namely the United States camp and the Soviet Union camp. And um, allies on both sides mainly uh, kind of uh, got in, got involved for uh, stealing information and especially for nuclear weapons and uh, their proliferation. So with this, uh, let's delve into the six books that can change your thinking about espionage. Book number one, Eye of the Needle by Ken Fon. This book is about a German aristocrat who is a spy for Hitler in World War II. His codename was Needle and he was an extraordinarily, extraordinary intelligence, a spy master uh, with a legacy of violence in his uh, on his hands and he was the object of the most desperate manhunt in history. This is the basically the synopsis of the story. However, this man's fate lay in the hands of a young woman and if that woman's loyalty would be swayed, that British woman's loyalty would be swayed towards German then it would assure his freedom and he could win the war for the Nazis. So it is, it is based in 1944 and just week before, weeks before the D-Day landing in Normandy. And the Allies are disguising their invasion plans with a, a phony armada of ships and uh, planes. And they want to trick the Nazis into thinking that the invasion of Germany will, uh, on mainland Europe will come in a particular way, but they are rather going to attack from a different direction. And if this plan would be found uh, out by Hitler, then he, he would take precautionary measures. And how would he find out? If, if and only if he had an agent who would find out that all this is a farce. This is just misinformation being fed to Nazi Germany uh, so that the Allied troops can attack uh, uh, suddenly and uh, surprise the Nazi uh, war machine. However, the British MI5 is also not far behind. They have come to know that uh, their plan is in danger. and. Now, Needle, the German spy, is now hunted by MI5 and he leads a kind of a murderous trail across Britain uh, to escape on a U boat. But he has to make that escape from an island. And in his plans, Storm and a remarkable young woman who lives on the storm battered island was not in his equation. So what happens? Does he succeed? Or if he fails, why he fails? Remarkably, this novel has been copied and made into the movie Fana by Amir Khan and Kajal. Book number two. 
the eagle has landed. This is also based in uh, World War II and this is by Jack Higgins. The eagle has landed. It is a fantastic story about an attempted kidnapping of the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill by the German High Command during the World War II. When it is discovered in uh, November of 1943 at the height of World War II that uh, Winston Churchill is scheduled to uh, spend a weekend in his country home at Northrop, which is towards the south of England, the Germans plan to uh, kidnap him. So Heinrich Himmler, under orders from Hitler, assigns uh, Nazi Colonel uh, Max Radl the entire uh, plan, entire plan uh, of how to kidnap Winston Churchill, and uh, he's being aided by an uh, English hating Irishman, uh, Liam Devlin. And who is going to actually kidnap him? It will be Colonel Kurt Steiner. The efficient planning and the remarkable uh, timetables that the German uh, Nazi paratrooper team has to add to it uh, it is fascinating but slowly it starts breaking apart and what happens to Colonel Kurt Steiner this movie has been uh, this novel has been made into a movie and Michael Caine and Robert Duval, as well as Donald Sutherland, are in the in the movie. Please do watch it. The Eagles have landed. It is probably a 1978. Movie. Next on our list is uh, the great John Lecker. This is the post World War in, and we are going into Cold War era. We are talking about Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, which is my favorite book. It is probably the greatest spy novel of all time. And it is actually based on a true story, one of the darkest periods in British uh, espionage history. Uh, it is highly inspired. Uh, it is not exactly a true account, but it is about the search for a high-level Soviet spy at the top of MI5 and this is actually true one of the oldest agents of uh, British MI5 was actually a double agent working for Soviet Union and he was a mole a mole is actually a slang and the word mole uh, got its origins in the Cold War era the mole is an animal who kind of burrows into um, hard ground and hard surfaces and finally reaches up to the top and comes out of the top. So uh, a mole is basically a slang for a spy who kind of uh, gets in, involved. He's probably a member of the enemy apparatus and he has betrayed them and he's kind of navigating through the holes and getting information of all kinds. This is uh, one of the novels of the great Carla series in uh, of George Smiley and uh, George Smiley is the hero who is an entirely different beast from James Bond or any other kind of novel. We get a view of uh, real spy novels of British bureaucracy and uh, it raises the greatest question of all time. Who is going to spy in the spy? Next on the list is the great Frederick Forsyth. And the book I recommend is The Day of the Jackal. Day of the Jackal is probably the only book that comes to mind uh, that can rival Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. This is again a uh, completely rooted, a grounded, uh, real-world spy thriller. It is about Jackal. It's a codename, a codename for a tall, 
blonde Englishman with great dead eyes. He is a killer at the top of his profession and he is unknown to any secret service in the world. And such a man has been contracted by French dissident group OAS to kill the most heavily guarded man of all time, Charles de Gaulle, the president of France. Can you do it? Now we get into new age espionage novels, new age spy novels. And new age spy novels or spy novels of any kind is incomplete without the Mossad and the CIA. The first book I would like to recommend is The Kill Artist by Daniel Silva. This book is about former intelligence operative Gabriel Alon of Mossad. He has now retired, he is now immersed in the quiet, meticulous life of an art restorer. Mr. Gabriel alone has uh, kept his past much, much behind him. But now he has been called back, called back into the game and teamed with an agent, a woman agent, who hides behind her own mask, a beautiful fashion model. Their target, a cunning, cunning terrorist on a last killing spree. A Palestinian zealot who has played a dark, dark role in Gabriel Lenoir's very, very violent past. Speaking of violence, The Grey Man series by Mark Green. The first book of the Grey Man series is actually called The Grey Man and subsequently four more books have come out. This book is about court gentry, a disgraced and disgruntled and now former CIA operative. He is now out of the game of espionage but now is an international hired assassin. He loves in the shadows and he is so good, he is known as the Grey Man. He is a legend in the covert realm. He moves silently from job to job and he accomplishes the impossible and fades away. 